Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina, welcome to Insta TV. Today the Russian ruble has come under pressure of the US dollar. The ruble is no longer supported by oil prices. Besides, the Russian currency has weakened amid falling demand for risky assets, as the case for a rate increase by the US Fed has grown stronger than ever. Today the dollar-ruble pair is trading higher. The ruble fell to 65.21 against the US dollar. Currency strategies foresee a trend reversal in the short term. The board of Russia's central bank is holding a monetary policy meeting on Friday. Expectations mounted that the Bank of Russia will cut the key interest rate to 10% from the current level of 10.5%. Most analysts are betting on further easing of monetary policy, though some experts have doubts. The reason behind doubts is the recent speech by the Bank of Russia Governor Elvira Nabiulina. Her message for Russian businesses that may be finding it difficult to adapt to restrictive policy. Get used to it. However, traders hope that slower inflation will encourage the board to cut the key interest rate for the second time this year. In case the rates remain the same, the Russian ruble will fall in value. Besides, the Russian currency is highly sensitive to oil prices, which are retreating today. The November contract for global crude benchmark Brent is trading at $47.13 a barrel. Its U.S. counterpart West Texas Intermediate has settled at $44.80. Oil prices pulled back in light of the oil rig count from Baker Hughes posted on Friday. Baker Hughes reported that the number of active U.S. oil drilling rigs climbed by 7 to 414 last week. This signals robust oil drilling in the U.S. and a further the increase in U.S. crude inventories, so the protracted oil glut could derail hopes for the market rebalancing. Oil traders are growing pessimistic even despite the informal talks of the largest oil producers that will take place in Algeria in late September. A lot of investors are voicing concern that OPEC and non-OPEC oil exporters are unlikely to strike a production freeze deal. And this was Daily Financial News on Insta TV. Thank you and see you back tomorrow. Bye.